Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. Today we put together a compilation that's going to excite, scare, and intrigue and leave you wanting more. Ready? Let's jump right in. In this video, an individual recorded themselves entering a mysterious location, and as they proceed, the surroundings suddenly turn strange and surreal. The footage's owner claims that they had walked into a portal of some sort, leading them to an alternate dimension where everything looks distorted and bizarre. However, some skeptics suggest that this could be the outcome of camera tricks, such as a filter or editing. It's a matter of debate and opinion, and there is no clear answer to whether the footage is genuine or not. Nonetheless, it's fascinating to witness such phenomena and contemplate the possibilities of other realms beyond our understanding. What do you think? A group of close-knit friends were enjoying a leisurely walk on a path through a dense forest, surrounded by towering trees and the gentle rustling of leaves. As they chatted and laughed, they suddenly noticed something moving ahead of them. At first they thought it might be an animal, but as the creature came into view, they were filled with intense fear and shock. What they saw was a pale humanoid creature crawling backwards on all fours. Its movements were jerky and unnatural, and its eyes glinted with an eerie intensity. The friends were frozen with terror, unable to move or speak for several moments. When they finally regained their senses, they sprinted away from the creature as fast as they could, their hearts pounding with fear. Now, the question on everyone's mind is, what kind of creature was it? Some have suggested that it could be a mythical creature known as a rake, while others believe it could be something else entirely. Regardless, the incident has left the friends shaken and wary of venturing into the forest again. What do you think? Throughout history, there have been numerous accounts of people claiming to have seen extraterrestrial beings. While many people have tried to depict what aliens might look like, it's still unclear what they do look like. In most cases where people encounter aliens, they tend to capture footage from a distance to avoid dangerous situations. For example, in this particular footage, someone saw an alien-looking creature crouch down at the mouth of a cave in the middle of the night. The creature had a large head and a pair of black, huge eyes that seemed to be staring into the darkness. It appeared to be unaware of its surroundings, which suggests that it might be in a state of hibernation or deep meditation. While I'm not trying to discredit these encounters, it's puzzling why people don't try to get closer and make contact with the entities they spot. Perhaps it's because they're afraid of the unknown, or maybe they simply don't know how to communicate with them. Whatever the reason may be, it's clear that these encounters raise more questions than they answer. What do you think of this? Recently, I came across a video that has left me intrigued. The video shows what appears to be an underground fungus growth in Milan. The footage includes images of dead rats that have growths on them, which is quite alarming. However, some people have pointed out that the images may have been generated using computer graphics, which casts doubt on the authenticity of the video. Despite the conflicting opinions, this video has sparked a lot of discussions, with people trying to determine the veracity of the claims being made. Some believe that the fungus is real and represents a major health hazard, while others think that it's nothing more than a hoax. What do you think about this video? Do you believe that there is real fungal growth in Milan, or do you think that it's all just a computer-generated hoax? Recently, a video was captured by someone showing an extraordinary object in the night sky. The object appears to be a large sphere with an invincible appearance. The sphere flickers in and out of view incredibly fast, making it difficult to capture a clear view. 
The location of the sighting is unknown, and so is the origin of the object. Experts and enthusiasts alike are divided on what this object could be. Some speculate that it might be a glitch in the fabric of reality or some sort of technological malfunction, while others believe it might be a portal to another dimension or a UFO. The video has sparked a lot of debate and discussion, and many are eagerly waiting for more information to emerge on this mysterious sighting. What do you think of the whole thing? Have you ever delved into the intriguing concept of the third eye? While rooted in various spiritual traditions, it's particularly notable in Hinduism, where it's known as the Ajna Chakra. This metaphysical eye is believed to reside in the subtle body located between the eyebrows. Unlike the physical organ, it symbolizes insight, intuition, and spiritual enlightenment. In ancient Egyptian mythology, the Eye of Horus symbolizes protection, healing, and royal power, rather than the third eye concept. The Eye of Horus, often depicted as the right eye, was revered for its connection to the sun and moon, embodying the vigilant and protective qualities of the god Horus. Today, the idea of the third eye transcends cultural boundaries, resonating with individuals exploring meditation, self-awareness, and spiritual growth. It's perceived as a gateway to deeper understanding and heightened consciousness, facilitating profound insights into both the external world and one's inner self. So my question is, do you have a third eye? Let's take a closer look at this fascinating feline. As you can see, there appears to be a third eye situated right in the center of its forehead. While this could be a result of a birth defect, it's worth noting that the concept of third eyes holds a special significance in many spiritual and metaphysical belief systems. In certain cultures, the third eye is thought to represent an individual's ability to see beyond the physical world and tap into higher levels of consciousness. Given this context, it's not hard to wonder if this cat is more than just a mere physical being and if its third eye could be a manifestation of some sort of spiritual energy of power. Late one night, a group of men were camping in the mountains of Turkey when they noticed something strange up on a nearby hill. As they peered into the darkness, they saw a creature with glowing eyes. Even though the surrounding area was shrouded in darkness, they could make out that it had a pair of horns on its head. The creature appeared to be stalking them, and they couldn't shake off the feeling of unease that crept over them. It's difficult to say what kind of creature this could be. Some people have suggested that it might be the legendary goat man. Others speculate that it could be a completely different kind of creature altogether. What do you see? Enjoying the episode? Kindly hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep bringing you more clips like this. Done? Well, let's continue with the day's episode. Our next clip was captured by a home surveillance camera, and it's quite intriguing. In the video, a strange object can be seen flying over the backyard. The object appears to be dark in color with an unusual shape. However, what makes it even more peculiar is the glowing ring around its edges. It's difficult to determine what the object could be. On one hand, it could be a computer-generated image or a hoax created by someone. On the other hand, it could very well be a genuine, unidentified flying object that defies explanation. The video raises a lot of questions and leaves us wondering what the possibilities of otherworldly phenomena could be. This next one shows an unusual creature with a horned head emerging from the depths of the water. The footage was shot by an anonymous source and the location where the incident occurred remains unknown. The creature appears to be similar to a dragon, and by that I mean the mythical creature that has been part of many cultures' folklore. Believe it or not, some cultures and individuals believe that dragons did exist in the past, and this video raises questions about the possibility of their existence. 
The creature's appearance is intriguing, and it presents a striking resemblance to the descriptions of dragons in various mythologies. This footage has sparked a debate among experts and enthusiasts around the world. Some believe that the creature could be a product of CGI, or it could be a hoax. Others suggest that it could be a real-life dragon, and the footage is evidence of their existence. But what do you think of this? In the video that follows, an unidentified individual recorded a fascinating occurrence in the night sky. The footage shows a glowing entity moving behind the clouds. The person who took the footage claims it to be an angel, but there are different opinions about what it might be. Some believe it could be a UFO, while others suggest that it could be an optical illusion caused by the clouds. The object's movement is smooth and steady, and it appears to be moving in a straight line. Some think it's a spotlight, others think we may have an alien invasion on our hands. If anything at all, this video is an intriguing reminder that there are still many mysteries in the world that we have yet to fully understand. Whoa! That was huge! Whoa! This video, recorded, captures a fascinating incident where an individual is seen using a laser pointer to direct a beam of light toward a particular star in the sky. As the laser hits the star, the surrounding stars appear to move and shift before blinking back into their original positions. The person recording the video is convinced that they're making contact with an unidentified flying object. This compelling footage has sparked discussions and debates about the possibility of extraterrestrial life and the potential of communicating with beings from other worlds. You've seen the clip yourself. What do you think? Whoa. That was huge. Whoa. The video footage in question showcases a craft that appears to be defying the laws of gravity. Despite our understanding of how gravity works, this video raises various questions. The camera inside the craft zooms in on a bottle of water and the cup that has been placed on the dashboard. When you look outside, it seems as though the craft is moving downwards and then upwards. There is even a point where it looks like the craft is rotating. However, the cup and the bottle remain unaffected by these movements. To add to the mystery, the person inside the craft proceeds to pour water into the cup. Despite the craft's movements, the water flows straight into the cup and doesn't spill out. According to our understanding of gravity, this doesn't make sense. However, Julius, our resident in-house scientist on all things paranormal, states that there is something called the centrifugal force that could explain what's happening here. This force is created when an object moves around a central point and can cause objects to move in a circular motion. The craft may be rotating in a way that creates centrifugal force, which is strong enough to counteract the effects of gravity on the cup and bottle. He also adds that the plane isn't moving fast enough, which could only mean that the individual is in a simulator, but you guys tell me what you think. An individual stumbled upon an extraordinary stone that caught their attention due to its unusual appearance. Upon closer inspection, they noticed that the stone was emitting a fiery glow through the cracks on its surface. This fascinating stone is known as a euprolite, which is a type of volcanic rock found in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Euprolites are unique because they contain fluorescent sodalite minerals that make them glow under ultraviolet light. This discovery has sparked interest among geologists, rock collectors, and enthusiasts who were fascinated by this remarkable stone. A group of men were enjoying a leisurely afternoon by the shores of Mexico when they suddenly noticed a strange creature in the water. The creature was partially submerged and its body was partly visible on the surface of the water. Upon closer inspection, the men noticed that the creature had a unique appearance which made it stand out from any other creature they'd seen before. 
The creature had a smooth body and it was around two feet long. Its head resembled that of a seal with a pointed snout and large black eyes. The body, however, was much flatter than that of a seal and it had a distinct pattern of black on its back. The men were unsure what type of creature they had encountered and they debated among themselves. Some of them believed it could be a sea turtle, while others were convinced that it was a leopard seal. They continued to watch the creature as it made its way through the water, trying to catch a glimpse of any other distinguishing features. What do you think this creature could be? In the video footage, an unidentified man can be seen performing an extraordinary feat of strength. The man, who appears to be a driver of a truck, encounters an obstacle on his path in the form of another parked truck. Not one to be deterred, the man gets out of his truck and approaches the parked vehicle. Unfazed by the weight of the truck, he positions himself at the back of the parked truck and proceeds to lift it off the ground with apparent ease. Once he's raised the vehicle to a sufficient height, he expertly maneuvers it into a spot that clears the way for his truck to pass through. It's an incredible display of physical prowess, and one can't help but wonder if the man possesses some kind of superhuman strength or if the footage is even real at all. If it is, this is certainly a feat that would be beyond the capabilities of an average person. The pyramids are one of the world's greatest mysteries that have yet to be solved. Nobody knows how these structures were built. Some believe they were constructed using advanced technology, while others think it was some sort of energy that was used to put them in place. Some believe that they were made by giants. Now, take a look at this video. It shows three square rocks, one on top of the other, and the top one appears to be rotating due to some unknown force. However, if you look closely at the middle, there appears to be something shadowy that you might miss. It's unclear what this shadowy object is, but it is a well-crafted work that has left many scratching their heads. If it turns out to be something, it could be a significant discovery that could shed light on the mystery of how the pyramids were built. If it is nothing, then how is this happening and what could cause the rotation of the top rock? While walking through the forest, an individual came across a set of skeletal remains that immediately caught their attention. Upon closer examination, they noticed the remains were not like anything they'd ever seen before. The bones were of a strange shape and size and did not resemble those of any known human or animal species. Intrigued by this discovery, the person carefully studied the bones, taking note of every detail. They noticed that the bones were missing certain features that would be present in a typical animal human skeleton. This absence only adds to the mystery of the remains and leaves you wondering what they could be. As they pondered the possible origins of the bones, their thoughts turned to the idea that perhaps they were of extraterrestrial origin. However, this idea seemed far-fetched and they began to consider other possibilities. Could these remains be evidence of a new undiscovered species or could they be the remains of something more sinister? The video footage depicts a bustling cityscape with several high-rise apartments lighting up the night sky. However, upon closer inspection, you can observe that the lights emanating from various windows are of different colors and hues. In particular, one can't help but notice the purple lights. Have you ever wondered why these purple lights are so prevalent in these buildings? Several theories attempt to explain the purpose of these purple lights. One of the most popular ones is that they're used for indoor plant cultivation. Specifically, some people believe that these purple lights are used to grow weeds or cannabis plants. As you may know, plants require different wavelengths of light to grow, and purple lights are beneficial for the growth and development of cannabis plants. However, there are others who speculate about the purpose of these purple lights. Some people suggest they may be used for recreational activities, such as parties or social gatherings, which could explain why they're so abundant in certain apartments. What are your thoughts on this matter? Do you have any other ideas or information that could shed light on the mystery of the purple lights in these apartments? 
Recently in Brazil, a video went viral showing strange light beams appearing in the sky. The footage shows the beams emanating from round lights that were hidden in the sky. The mysterious nature of the lights has led many to speculate that they could be evidence of alien life or UFOs. The video has sparked a lot of discussion and debate among experts and the public alike, with some suggesting that the lights could be a natural phenomenon, such as ball lighting, while others believe they are evidence of extraterrestrial activity. The phenomenon has not yet been explained, and it remains a topic of fascination for many. What do you think it is? In a recently recorded video, an intriguing sight was captured. A mysterious creature was spotted hovering through the air, with only its head visible to the viewer. The rest of the entity was completely invisible, shrouded in some sort of cloaking or camouflage. As the creature moved behind a well, another entity suddenly emerged from the ground, adding to the intrigue and mystery of the scene. The true nature of these entities remains unclear, and theories are circulating that they could be a cloaked entity, a ghost, or even an extraterrestrial being. What do you think it could be? Do you believe the concept of a mobile phone was laughable years ago? Yet, no, I'm not kidding. Take a look at this newspaper that was published as far back as the 18th of April, 1963. Speaking of dates, comment on the date you're watching the video. We'd want to see how many of you were actually watching this on the 18th of April. We'll capture all of the 18th of April comments and post them with our videos after the 18th of April. Back to what we're discussing, the idea was laughed at and called unreal. Today, not only can we make calls through mobile devices, but they're essentially smarter than NASA's computers back in the day. Talk about a mix of prophecy and scientific innovation. Can't wait to see what their future holds. These stones are quite fascinating as they seem to create sparks when they collide with an object. The sparks are bright and fiery and give off an intense energy. It's quite intriguing to see such a phenomenon in action. The one who originally posted it stated that they're special stones from Africa. Someone joked and called it vibranium, but I don't know. The little I know from my comics doesn't show that's the case. We did a little digging around and it turns out there are stones called flint stones that are capable of things like this that makes us think it could be a type of that. However, this is not confirmed and further testing will be required to confirm their true composition. Nonetheless, the sparks produced by these stones are quite efficient and could have interesting applications in various fields such as construction, mining, or even pyrotechnics. We would appreciate a full-blown instruction in the comments section. An individual has recently discovered a peculiar species of mosquitoes and has been concerned about their origin since. They have observed that the first two mosquitoes are of regular size, but the next set is unusually large and bizarre. It's unclear whether these mosquitoes have undergone a natural evolutionary process or if they were genetically engineered in a laboratory. The individual is worried about the implications of having large mosquitoes as they're known to be carriers of deadly diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, and the Zika virus. If these mosquitoes were to multiply and spread, they would be a significant threat to human health and safety. Could the size of these mosquitoes be a result of environmental change, or is it something caused by the introduction of foreign substances into the ecosystem? They're concerned that these mosquitoes could be a sign of more significant environmental problems and that they could be affecting other species as well. Overall, the one who shared the clip of these monstrous mosquitoes is alarmed by their discovery and is looking for answers. Does anyone know anything about mosquitoes these size? Please do share in the comments section if you do. Next, we have another one of those forest captures that is sure to leave you questioning everything you know and have accepted about this world. Have a look. The footage you see on your screen currently was captured by a man who was going through the woods on a beautiful sunny day. 
He was having one of those days when you can't shake the feeling that something otherworldly is lurking nearby, if you know what I mean. He could never shake off the feeling, and he understood once he got to the location he shot the footage you see on your screen. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that there's a dark figure in the center of the footage. Although it's not very clear, the upload states that there was a tall, ape-like beast or creature going on about its business there. Even though the creature hadn't noticed him and he was at a distance, its presence still filled him with fear. The fear he felt the moment he noticed the creature was however nothing compared to what he felt when the creature finally stood on its feet. At that moment, he realized that it was larger than he had already anticipated. At that moment, he felt the creature had noticed him, but it paid no attention and walked further into the woods, disappearing from sight. It's hard to authenticate the footage due to its blurry nature from being overly zoomed in. But what do you make of the footage? Do you think this is real? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. This camera footage was taken from the entrance of a home where an airy creature comes into view. Taking a critical look at the creature, it has a head shaped like a light bulb and glowing red eyes. It appears to be maintaining balance with two strong arms by its side. It repeatedly comes into view and then retreats into the darkness. It's hard to say if it's afraid or luring its next and potential victim. What could this be and where could it have popped out from? Is it a possessed doll acting as the landlord of the house when the owners are not present? An evil spirit that has attached itself to the house, perhaps? Many think it's a rake, but I call it fake. I know I rhymed there, but well, that's the game. Maybe I should stop before you call me out for lame dad jokes, but either way, what do you make of it? Let's pivot back to something rather unsettling. This video comes from a guy who had an unusual encounter one night around 2 a.m. He was fast asleep when some strange sounds outside roused him from his slumber. Feeling a mix of curiosity and apprehension, he stumbled over to his window, parted the blinds, and what he saw defied explanation. Hovering above his car was a figure, a far cry from your everyday human. This mysterious being was draped in a dark, flowing robe with its hair hanging like a veil over its face and down its back. Not a scene from a children's story like Peter Pan, this was something altogether different. As fear and confusion coursed through him, the man instinctively recorded the encounter and shared it online, hoping to get some insights from the internet community. Predictably, opinions ran the gamut. Some folks were quick to label it a hoax while others ventured into the realms of witches and supernatural entities. But here's the mystery. When you look closer, the reflection of this enigmatic presence can be seen in the car's rearview mirror. It's a hair-raising encounter that makes you question what might be lurking out there beyond your window late at night while you sleep. This next footage indeed showcases a fascinating and unexpected phenomenon involving a hollow tree struck by lightning. It's a reminder that nature and its interactions can often produce outcomes that defy our expectations. Have a look. In the video, a peculiar event unfolds as a thunderous noise is followed by a lightning strike that hits a tree. Typically, when a tree is struck by lightning, it can catch fire, break, and fall to the ground burning until it turns into ashes. However, this particular tree seems to be burning from the inside, resembling a rotisserie chicken roasting to perfection. It's almost as if the thunder and lightning are acting as chefs. What makes this occurrence especially baffling is that there is no visible ash coming from the tree. Normally, when a tree burns, it leaves behind ash as it consumes the wood. However, in this case, it appears that the tree is burning internally without breaking apart or producing ash as expected. Such events serve as a reminder of the mysteries of nature and how there are phenomena that we don't fully understand. It can indeed invoke thoughts and contemplation about unusual occurrences and their possible significance. The world around us continues to surprise and astonish us with its complexity. Wouldn't you agree?
In this video clip, we witness a late night ride with the passenger recording the journey as the car passes through a grove of trees illuminated by an overhead light. However, the drive takes an unexpected turn when the car slows down, drawing attention to a peculiar sight. Among the trees, a dark creature moves. Due to the limited visibility and darkness, it's hard to tell exactly what it is. Many in the paranormal community speculated that it might be a skunk ape. Given the fact that we have little to go on about, it's an impossibility. But there are others who think it's nothing more than a black bear and that the footage was recorded by some park rangers. The video offers a fascinating glimpse of the animal's size and movements, but it's essential to remember that sometimes, in low-light or unusual conditions, things may appear differently than they actually are. So I have said what I believe it to be. What do you personally think? If you thought that was bizarre, then I wonder what you will make of this next one. In fact, why don't I just show you? I know it's rhetorical, but I still have to ask, what do you see in this capture? I don't know about you, but there's a striking resemblance between whatever that is and James P. Sullivan from Disney's Monster Inc. You can't unsee it now, can you? Either way, what creature do you think you see in the capture? The one who sent it in believes it's a Sasquatch. Taking a second look at it, I kind of understand why the person may have said this, but it just doesn't cut it for me. The supposed capture doesn't look the littlest bit real, although you have to admit it's a cool-looking cryptid. If you were to ask me, though, I'd say that this is nothing more than an AI creation. It's just too obvious when I look at it. What about you? Think that was bizarre? Take a look at this next footage. In the footage, we see a young biker riding through what looks like the countryside. But if you look closely at the footage, something eerie unfolds in the background. A tall, slender figure moving through the grass. If you pay attention to the height of the creature in relation to the rest of the environment, then you can tell that the creature is very, very tall. Maybe eight feet or more. But what creature is it? As the footage circulated, it sent chills down the spines of those who believed they had spotted the infamous Slender Man. This footage was captured somewhere in the UK, and the uploader had set up cams to film himself on his new bike. What he didn't expect to see is the creature you can see in the background. He explained that a passing driver had alerted him to the presence of a strange humanoid creature in the area. At first, he dismissed it as something unbelievable. However, his skepticism would soon give way to something else as he reviewed the footage during the editing process. Looking at the footage, I'm really glad that he was really that far from the creature. Who knows what could have happened to him if he met the creature face to face. This footage was taken in a Catholic church where the congregation was having a service, but one person noticed something strange with the statue of Jesus on the cross. Initially, everything appears tranquil. The figure of Jesus remains in its customary pose. But then, something unusual happens. Something that challenges the boundaries of the ordinary. The statue's eyes begin to move. Did you catch it? A subtle, almost imperceptible shift in the statue's gaze. It's a moment that defies easy explanation, leaving those who witnessed it both curious and puzzled. For those present, this event blurred the line between the natural and the supernatural, stirring questions about just what happened. Was it a paranormal occurrence, or perhaps just a quirk of lighting and perspective? Next, we see an image I never expected to see on the internet. The image you see on your screen was taken from an old slave plantation. In the capture, we see what appears to be a small house in the middle of nowhere. That's not the weird thing, as we see such houses all the time. The strange thing about the capture is the fact that we see what appears to be a ghostly figure in shackles within the building. 
The being has a whitish skin, and that's as far as it goes. But why would someone put themselves in shackles in an abandoned building somewhere? The law here is, they did not. Instead, it's believed that what you are actually seeing is the soul of one of the previous slaves who had been held in the facility. As weird and as wild as that might seem, that's the accepted truth. You might be wondering, is that even possible? Well, the evidence of its existence is what you see in the capture, unless, of course, the whole thing is false. What if I told you that the paranormal is not the only thing that could make you question all you know about our reality? Maybe I should just show you. Does it not look majestic? The creature on your screen is very much real and your tax today is identifying it. Do you know what species it is? Do you know a rare fact about this particular species? Tell us in the comment section and start your comment with bonus footage so we easily identify it. The most accurate description with the rarest fact will win a feature in our next video. All the best. Two of my favorite words I would never thought I'd see together a river and wolf. But here I am about to show you footage of a river wolf. If my intro had you thinking we were going to see a giant canine with webbed feet, etc., etc., well, I apologize. But you have to agree the creature on your screen is quite the specimen. What you see on your screen is none other than the giant otter. Believe it or not, that creature is considered an apex predator in its region in the Amazon rainforest. It's capable of growing up to the length of six feet. It's a skilled hunter that's even capable of hunting down juvenile caimans. While smaller than alligators and crocodiles, caimans are no pushovers, and the fact that these creatures are capable of hunting them down makes them intriguing and dangerous at the same time. Have you ever encountered one of these creatures? Let us know in the comments section. Would you go out of your house to take a good look at an animal that was roaming around your property late at night? Well, not me, but the one in the footage I'm about to show you did, and you wouldn't believe what happened. Have a look. In the footage, you see him looking around the property, but look as he would, he sees nothing and no one. After a few seconds, however, he hears movement in his house, looks through the window, and hears someone inside. He immediately rushes in, trying to find whatever was in the room. He went through the various rooms and saw nothing. How's that possible? Well, we don't know, but if I were him, I'd be extra careful on that property and watch my back at all times. For our next footage, we go all the way to Indonesia for a rather unconventional capture. Don't just take my word for it, take a look. Yes, you're actually looking at some sort of weird looking giant. This is the first time we've seen this particular footage and a subscriber here drew our attention to it. According to the original uploader, the creature just showed up at the end of their street and remained still as though it were waiting for something or someone. Looking at the creature, it's much larger and taller than an estimated size we have for Bigfoot, suggesting it's not a Bigfoot. It appears to have a lot of fur and is obviously a humanoid. Does this fit any known cryptid? Well, not one that we are aware of, but as much as I'd love for this to be real, it just doesn't feel like it. I have a strong feeling that whoever uploaded this was trying very hard to mislead us. I think this might have been a statue or something set up in the area where the footage was taken from. Given the fact that nobody is running or screaming in the footage, I'm tempted to think so. Just in case you're wondering what I think about the camera shake, well, I believe it's more fake than the video is. The shake doesn't even look the least bit realistic, but that might just be my thinking. What do you see when you look at the footage? Do you think I'm being overly critical and skeptical? Share your thoughts in the comments section. I'll be reading. Take a look. In the footage, we see a house that's situated in an isolated part of an estate in Scotland. 
The footage was taken by tourists who were feeling brave and decided that an abandoned house in an abandoned part of town would be a fun place to hang out. In the footage, we see the tourists walking along and recording an eerie-looking house. They aren't bothered because it's supposed to be an abandoned house. That was at least the case until they saw movement in the house. They focus on the window with the movement, and sure enough, someone's there. Not the kind you'd expect, but they're there. The person looks out of the window, and they see her or it because it has pale white skin as if it has been dead. It has dark patches around its eyes and maybe a horn. It's hard to say because whatever it is retreats as soon as it realizes it's been discovered. Instead of running from the building, these tourists run toward it, and I can't help but wonder why. But what do you think of the whole ordeal? Tell us in the comments section. In the next footage, you would not believe what a man captured deep in the woods. This man is reported to have heard a strange noise coming from the woods and decided to investigate. He set out with his camera and torchlight in the night to find out what was behind the strange noise. As he followed the enigmatic noises, his journey led him to a mysterious and foreboding fence adorned with a stern warning. No trespassing. Undeterred, he boldly crossed this threshold and moved closer to the source of the eerie sounds. What he witnessed sent shivers down his spine. A colossal figure lurking in the distance, a creature of gargantuan proportions that resembled the infamous Siren Head. Fear and disbelief gripped him as he concealed himself, silently observing the behemoth as it drew nearer. Only when the creature had passed was he able to make his escape. Upon sharing his harrowing footage with the world via YouTube, a cacophony of reactions erupted. Some cried hoax, while others were left in awe and terror. But what are your thoughts on this perplexing encounter? We'd really love to hear them. Now, we have had ghost encounters, mummies, cryptids, paranormals, and what have you, but I doubt any would compare to what I'm about to show you. If you don't have a strong stomach, I suggest skipping for the next few seconds. If you're good, take a look. A paranormal investigator was investigating the building when he came across what you see on your screen. Imagine walking into a room and seeing a woman tied up like this. Well, she's not exactly alive, but in an instant, he believed that it was truly someone who'd been handcuffed there and left to die. Perhaps the victim of a kidnapping. After investigating it for a while, though, he starts to believe it's a prop. His investigation is, however, interrupted by a sound behind him. He was not alone. Jeez! All right. No, I didn't do that. That sounded like it came from down the end of this. There was someone in there with him, and whoever it was, the person was trying to escape the building. He tried to get out of the place and return with his team, but he ended up lost with a lot of spooky things happening around him. If the woman was indeed a prop or a doll, why then are weird things happening in the building? Think about it. This footage presents an intriguing discovery made by an intrepid explorer of the wild. The individual sought to investigate unusual tracks, and you won't believe what he discovered. At first glance, these footprints appear to be of human origin, resembling the impressions left behind by a person's feet or shoes. However, upon closer examination and comparison with the recorder's own shoe prints, it becomes evident that these footprints exhibit a unique characteristic, their depth. The depth to which these footprints penetrate the ground suggests a muddy or soft terrain, indicating that whatever creature left them possessed considerable weight or power. Given the profound depth of these footprints and the remote wilderness in which they were found, one theory emerges, the presence of the legendary Bigfoot. Bigfoot, often associated with elusive encounters in forested regions, is a creature that has fueled the imaginations of many. The investigator believes it's a juvenile Bigfoot, given how small but deep the footprints are. I must say that this is a sentiment I can agree with. 
Deers are curious, yet very careful creatures. It's only natural for them to observe unexpected and unknown objects in their environments from a safe distance. Clearly, that's what the doe in this capture is doing. She's noticed the strange light orb and is looking at it. But what at all could it be? Well, if you've been on this channel for long, then you know that the deer is looking at a spirit orb. They tend to become visible during heightened spiritual or paranormal activity. At least, that's what we believe. Is the capture legit, though? We want to believe it is, but there's something offsetting about its looks and body language. I just can't seem to put a finger on it. Perhaps it's just me. If you notice it too, please do share it in the comments section. With recent announcements in the USA about aliens, footage of possible sightings have been emerging, and this next clip is no exception. Have a look. In the clip, we see a young man moving up and about in his home. He steps out, and we see that his home is closer to the woods than it is to the city. Taking a critical look at the footage, however, we see what looks like a light source from a distance. As the camera stabilizes, we realize that it's no light source at all. Instead, it appears to be the head of some strange creature. The one recording calls out to it and asks what it wants, but his query goes unanswered. At this point, it's easy to tell that it's no ordinary person or creature. We're actually dealing with some sort of alien. The alien creature doesn't respond to the boy or move towards him. Instead, it walks away uninterested. Was it searching for a specific specimen that the young man didn't fit? Or could it have been deaf, explaining its lack of response to the shouting? Or am I simply overthinking this? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. What do you want? What the fuck? Why are you walking away? Where the fuck is it going? Holy shit. Holy crap, I haven't seen that fucking close before. Let's take a break from the scary stuff. This strange sea creature was filmed from South Carolina. It looks like a fish with wings flapping in the water. Well, this is not any kind of unknown species. This is a type of sea slug that's mostly found in fresh water. Take a moment to appreciate the sheer elegance with which this sea slug glides through its underwater realm. It's a vivid reminder that the natural world is a treasure trove of wonders, where even the seemingly ordinary can reveal moments of extraordinary beauty. Next, we have drone footage from an unnamed rural area. The footage starts off as one of those documentaries from the rural areas, but soon enough, we realize it's not. As the footage plays on, a peculiar and unsettling sight unfolds. At the entrance of what seems to be an old deserted shack in the middle of nowhere, we spot a pale and ghostly figure crouched on the ground, seemingly engrossed in some activity. The nature of this activity remains shrouded in mystery. Moments later, this enigmatic figure becomes aware of the drone's presence and proceeds to exit the shack and move towards the compound. As the figure draws nearer, we can discern that its appearance is both human-like and disfigured, evoking eerie and unsettling qualities. Some refer to this kind of being as a rake or a skinwalker, often associated with otherworldly creatures or even extraterrestrial entities. The questions that emerge are numerous. What might a creature of this nature be doing in a town setting? What could its intentions be in this particular part of town? The footage leaves us with a perplexing and unsettling enigma. 
As much as I'd love to believe this thing is real and genuine, a part of me believes. No, a part of me knows that this is definitely a hoax. The coincidences are just too numerous, and also, the being looks like it might be a human pretending to be something else. This drone capture is from a vicinity mostly made up of a large plantation with grass in different stages and shades of their colors. If you pay attention further to the north, you'd see the grove of trees in many different lengths, all visible as the sun shines. It's all green grass and tall trees until a dark figure is seen in front of two white pillars that looks like a gateway between Earth and another world. The being is walking without a care in the world. Although we see a dark creature at Al, it possesses a human-like gait when it walks. Here's where things get weird. No humans were expected to be in the area where the footage was recorded at the point it was. In fact, think of it more as an abandoned area with little to no people traversing it. Yet we see this tall, dark figure seemingly taking a stroll. This begs the question, what is it? A Bigfoot or a man in a suit? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Next, we have this peculiar tale from the shores of Vietnam. It begins with a strange creature washing up on the beach. It looks like dried tree roots, but these root-like appendages are mysteriously moving, almost like tentacles. Now, the person who discovered this curious being not only observed it, but decided to take it home. And what's even more fascinating, or perhaps a bit risky, is that they dared to touch it with their hand. The big question here is, what on earth is this thing? And more importantly, if you don't know what it is, is it really a good idea to bring it home? Let's hope it's not some undiscovered sea critter with harmful tendencies. In this bizarre turn of events, a man in Peru was detained for having an 800-year-old mummified corpse. The mummified body was in a fetal position, and at the time he was caught, he had put it in a food delivery bag, taking it to who knows where. When interviewed, the man casually mentions that he treats the mummy, whom he affectionately calls Juanita, as more of a spiritual companion. He goes on to claim that Juanita shares his bedroom and is, in fact, like a spiritual girlfriend. However, when experts decide to give Juanita a closer look, they make a surprising discovery. Juanita is actually a male. The man in question looks to be over 50 and you can't help but wonder, where in the world did he come across the 800-year-old Juanita? Did he inherit it, stumble upon it, or is there some other bizarre explanation lurking in the shadows of this strange story? Have you ever been on one of those long family trips? Do you have any interesting memories from them? If you do, I doubt they can compare to what this family captured from their trip. As you watch the current footage, notice the camera's focus on a tree at the center of the frame. Keep an eye on that tree and you'll spot a shadow moving behind it. Do you see it? It doesn't look like anything you have encountered, does it? If you were hoping I'd identify this creature and share its history as we usually do on this channel, I must disappoint you today. We have gone through our archives on cryptids and other paranormal beings, and it doesn't match with anything in our database. We're tempted to think that this is the first time this paranormal being or shadow creature has been caught on camera. Some, including the family that recorded it, have stated it's definitely a Bigfoot, but that's something we just don't see. Do you, though? Next, we have another video clip capturing the curiosity of animals. In this footage, we see a camera being licked by what can be presumed as the legendary creature, Bigfoot. The footage begins with a striking red hue, which sets an eerie tone. As it continues, we witness what appears to be a tongue licking the camera screen, an unexpected sight in trail cam captures.
The uploader claims this isn't the first occurrence and believes he may be dealing with a juvenile Bigfoot playing with the camera equipment. It may sound like a stretch, but what are your thoughts on this? Share in the comments section. While on deep sea research, divers captured this colossal creature lurking in the ocean depths. And what does this aquatic enigma resemble? None other than the famed Mosasaurus. For those unacquainted with prehistoric marine creatures, the Mosasaurus was a colossal aquatic reptile that once ruled the ancient seas. It lived during the late Cretaceous period and its fossils have been discovered around the world. Now fast forward to the present and we find ourselves faced with the uncanny semblance of this long extinct behemoth in the depths. It's crucial to acknowledge that the existence of a living Mosasaurus would challenge our current understanding of evolutionary timelines. Nevertheless, the ocean continues to be an area of continual exploration, harboring many species yet to be fully uncovered and comprehended. In this next footage, a person was taking a stroll one night when he comes across a creature crouched on the floor. The creature resembles a goblin with unnaturally smooth plastic-like skin and eerily glowing eyes. As he grabbed his phone to capture the scene, the creature became aware of his presence and started moving aggressively towards him, emitting spine-chilling otherworldly noises. As realistic as this looks and sounds, I must say the one who created this CGI is very good because I was genuinely almost spooked. What about you? Next, we have a trail cam capture from the woodlands that's somewhat blurry. In the capture, however, we see the trees and some leaves hanging here and there with little to no grass on the ground. With all the blurriness and no grass situation is a black object lying lifeless on the ground. Shape-wise, it comes off as an ape-like creature lying on its back. I'm tempted to think ape or Bigfoot, but perhaps it's simply my paranormal and imaginative brain at work. What do you think, though? What do you see when you look at the capture? I'd like to read in the comments. If you thought that was weird, I have one that might calm your nerves. Enter Bigfoot. The footage you see has been the cause of many debates. The debates have been on its authenticity. If you ask me, however, the creature or being moving in the footage does not appear to be CGI. The only way this could be fake is if it was a human in a body suit. I'm no expert, but that doesn't seem to be the case here, unless, of course, you know some eight-foot humans that are willing to play dress-up in the woods. Even then, I doubt the costume would come out this good, but that's just me. What do you think? Now, over the years, science has brought about many innovations and inventions, some to battle diseases and come up with new technology. Here we have a news report that says the doctors have come up with the first head transplant. This would take a series of processes to make this successful and will last for 36 hours and a total of 10 medical staff to get this done. It starts from freezing the body and heads to a specific temperature to prevent it from dying. Then decapitation is done, but they start first with the neck, and when it comes to the spinal cord, they use a special tool made of diamonds to curb any damage to be caused. Now the severed head will be taken to its new body, where they attach the esophagus with a special glue. The other vessels are also attached, and a plastic surgeon comes to attach the skin. After this, the body is put into a four-week induced coma for the rest of everything to heal completely. Everything seems so well planned, but the question is, who is volunteering to do that? I would love to see it, but it uh, looks like such a scary thing to go through. Is this something you could see yourself doing? Tell us in the comment section.
Did that scare you? Well, if it did, I won't be surprised. The creature looks like something straight out of a nightmare and it has limbs that don't quite make sense. The video is blurry, hence we can't say much, but it might have scales for skin and generally have a fish-like appearance. These guesses are based on the description of the uploader who called the creature a toil. For those unfamiliar with it, it's a supernatural creature or spirit found in the Southeast Asian folklore, particularly in Malay, Indonesian, and Thai cultures. It's often described as a mischievous and malevolent creature that's associated with black magic and the occult. It's commonly depicted as a grotesque or deformed fetus-like creature. It's typically very small in size, resembling an infant or a small child. Here's the twist. It's believed to have the power to bring wealth and good fortune to its owner if treated well, but it can also bring misfortune if mistreated. Most often, however, it carries out the wishes of a master, which leaves us wondering, did someone intentionally send the creature after the family? If they did, why? Why would you do such a thing? Our final clip was recorded in China in March, when the weather conditions were extreme and everything appeared to be covered in ice, creating a scene reminiscent of the Ice Age. The video depicts a deserted landscape where the trees, houses, and roads are all heavily covered in thick layers of ice, giving the impression that time has stood still. The harsh weather conditions have made it difficult for the locals where the clip was recorded to go about their daily lives, leaving the streets eerily empty and lifeless. Despite the beauty of the icy landscape, it's a reminder of the challenges of living in such extreme weather conditions. And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Uh, oh yeah, uh, before you go, are there clips and videos you think we should have featured by now that we haven't? Well, the good news is you can share them with us and we'll post them crediting you. Please send any such footage, including ones you recorded yourself, to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do our thing and include it in our next episode. We can't wait to receive what you have. Share this video with someone you love. See you in the next one.